Manchester United summer signing earned more cabinet than 30 Premier League squads. Manchester United were arguably the winners of the transfer window this summer, bringing in three players who will strengthen not only the squad, but manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer starting 11. After Jadon Sancho completed his move from Borussia Dortmund for around £73 million after being part of the England group that reached the European Championship final, World Cup winning centre-back Rafael Farhane will follow weeks later for in excess of £35 million, joining from Real Madrid. The icing on the cake was to come as club announced that they had struck a deal with Juventus to bring club legend Cristiano Ronaldo back to Old Trafford in a deal where United could pay the Italian giants up to £20 million for the 36-year-old Golden Boot winner, who will become the league's highest ever earner on around 510000 per week, with both Sancho and Farni reportedly earning around 315000 a week. That equates to over £60 million in wages for the three players. To put this into context, it is more than both Manchester City and West Ham United total annual wage bill, with both clubs qualifying for the Europe League. Newly promoted Brentford pay £12.8 million per year, which is five times less than United pay for their three Marquis signings. Now I know the club hasn't won a trophy since 2070, and this is what manager Ole Gunnar Solskjaer grabs so badly, as he confirmed to the standards required in the institution that Manchester United is but it has raised question. Should there be a wage gap? Do the bigger clubs deserve to spend more because of commercial gain? Regardless, it doesn't look like things are going to change the thought of level playing field. It's just that at the moment, with PRG also being able to fork out huge wages for Messi, Ramos at duo to the fact they can make a good bulk of their annual outlay back in uh, merchandise and shirt sales. The moves made by United to bring the nostalgic element into play, however, and we could be sad to see them return to the peak of the Premier League once more as clubs such as Arsenal and Liverpool, who also have a big global fan base, are hamstrung due to the effects of the pandemic and have not been able to strengthen significantly compared to United and Chelsea.